Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of Quantum Break. And we're going to the pool this time. Why are you not wearing your swimsuit anyone? I'm, I'm kind of sad about that. Anyways, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna find another way in. Yeah, I was pretty sure I couldn't get into the front door apparently. Can I? Nope. I can't even get into the trash can. Oh man. Okay. I could also just play with time. That is always a possibility. There's an open window and you're Release making parkour. <laughs> I think they're not listening. Okay, over here it seems like... really seem that way. Okay, it doesn't seem that there's anything up here at all. Why did we get here? Well, this is because I have to go down. <laughs> well, I have a feeling I missed it again. Or not. It should be around. Yeah, over on the other side, but let's see. Will it use the building to hide away his personal items? Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype. It should be. Come on, Will. What did you want me to find here? There it is. Got it. Okay. All right. That's it. Now I really need to get down and open the door for the two girls. What the hell is that? Something on the wall, or I think it's sunlight, but it looks really, really weird. Yeah, yeah. Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. Look. Oh, you're there. <sighs> nice work. Thank you. So. This note. It's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Will. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, Yeah. The countermeasure gone. Taken. Shit. Safe. I have to. 
I actually... I can't remember when this game is taking place, but 2010 seems like some time ago. Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. Well. Well, that didn't make a sound. Place will help us figure out who. Okay. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. But I will not press the button. So the tall leader to here. Oh god. Really? Um So what I can see there should be Ah there it is. I need this one. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Anything of interest in here? Broken door. Open door. Okay, so that's just a loop. Oh, then I come to press the button. Wait a second. Wait a oh, I thought it was closed off. I'm just running in circles right now. <laughs> Okay. Then press the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped him set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we could do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. I think? Well, this seems like a good idea. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leads us to. We have to test it. Core. Okay, next up. We set up first. Reset the core. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. Okay, and the control booth was where it was before. Okay, so let's get up there. I can't insert the date yet. Of course you can't. I still need to do this. There goes nothing. And power on. Fine. It's fine. And then the date it worked. 
It actually worked. This was the final okay. step. We, we need to set up the machine order. first. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. Okay, corridor, then the data. That was the order of the university. Oh. Why is all these computers so far away from each other? Like, seriously. That's not efficient at all. Corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Thank God. Uh, is that supposed to do that? Yep. Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine? And it That's my brother in the nutshell. Still can't set the door, the date. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. And the date. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is going to make it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Tarine's head of cloning research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. <laughs> well, I'm at the party. Just as planned. End of Act 2. Well, they're so close to the end of Act 2. Really? Okay, I will continue a little into Act 3 then. Thank you. Quantum Break. Okay, so this the future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? That sounds unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Well, okay, I'm pretty sure Joyce I could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? No, probably not. You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. 
It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. <laughs> Maybe, but I want everything to be perfect. Don't even twitch. Well, Mr. Joyce is waiting for us. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Um, there we go. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Okay. Let's see. Personal. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Jack chose to focus on his relationship with Jack and let Monarch uh, fend for himself. Uh, <laughs> Fin for itself for a while and I believe business comes miscalculation and as you and I were aware Mr. Joyce with miscalculation could often call a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause. Dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Hmm. I really want to go personal on this one. So, yeah, let's, um, we pick that. Oh, <laughs> that was not part of my plan. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time. And I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Okay, so this game takes place in 2017. Goody. Thank you for the clarification. What did I tip over there? Oh. <laughs> I just tipped over things in my room. Okay. You choose to have Steven focus on his personal business, so I'm going for the same road as almost half people did. Okay, and that's just the live action thing that would, and I, as I said earlier, I will skip those. So let's continue into Act 3, I think. A wine and cheese crowd. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I'm starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. 
How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, uh, 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 stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sure. What's it look like out there? Like a hill hole. They think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. Thank you. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation. It's like you got this all figured out. <laughs> I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, in that case, Okay, so I know this has been a shorter episode, but I think this is a good um, place to end it off before I run into too many things right now. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell. <laughs>